Greetings YouTube users, this is 000XYZ and I'm going to be doing a tour review of the original Japanese versions of Transformers Henke uh, Mirage. And here's his Japanese trading card, uh, C04. By the way, I can never figure out what the C stands for. I mean, I know that all the all the Autobots have a C but and the Decepticons have a D. Okay, I'm pretty much gonna guess that the D stands for uh, Decepticon, but what does the C stands for? Convoy, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, here's the back picture, the description. I don't know. It's obviously too blurry. And the stats. And yes, again, I like to remind the users that uh, the image you see on the webcam is mirror of my actual movement I'm raising my right arm for the record right arm looks like left it's actually all right on to, on to the toy this is the toy itself number 26 what is that why that anyways there's the Autobot symbol right there and yeah as you you might I don't know if you could tell or not but like uh, but the spoiler and the nose are both chrome, all four wheels work. And you have a transparent blue visor for the cockpit. Now, onto the transformation. Oh, by the way, yeah, so this moves out, and you move this as such. Like that. Next, you take this part. Rotate it out, rotate out like this again, and then rotate out one more time. Hit me, baby, one more time. Shut up, Brittany. Anyways, and then you split the legs open, and now you have the feet. Anyways, you rotate the body back here, you flip this thing out. Uh, next you pull out the arms, pull a side like this, by the way this will be rotating a couple of times during out the video, anyways, yeah, you pull this out, double hinge joint ladies and gentlemen, ooh, with an ellipse joint combo for the top one, anyways, and you just pull out the leg, sorry, hands, first I'm going to do this so I can do my signature obligatory reference Megazord transformation sequence has been initiated anyways remove the spoiler I mean sorry not the spoiler the nose uh, put that aside for now now uh, move this forward move this forward you have to play it Play around with it a little bit till you get a result that looks something like this. Yes, this is how it looks like. Uh, you have Autobot. Uh, what's his name? Mirage. Yeah, and. This goes back here for storage. It's it's a little loose though on it, but if you could figure out the right part, which I have just now, it's pretty firm. Anyways, yeah. Now onto the articulation. You got the hinge joint for the head. Oh, by the way. In terms of basic features, this is probably the most articulated Transformer toy I have. Anyways, you have a hinge joint on the shoulder and a ball and socket joint. So you can do this and and that. It goes the same with both arms. Now, if you look carefully, you, you have an ellipse joint and a hinge joint on the upper portion of the elbow and a second hinge joint at the bottom so you have a double hinge joint so you can go like that although I'm guessing it's part of the transformation so yeah but you could still make them go like that or however you prefer yeah 
Uh, anyways, you have an ellipse joint for the waist. You have a hinge joint for these for, for these two front skirts. Yeah, that's partially because you have a ball and socket joint for his for his thighs. Um, uh, and again, you have another double hinge joint. But that's again due to the transformation. Um, and of course another double hinge joint for the spo for the spoiler feet. Again from the double hinge joint. I mean from the transformation. And I take the spoiler. Now he has put it in his arm. Now he has a what's it called? Some sort of vacuum looking crossbow. It's d despite th how skimpy this looks, it's uh, this is a pretty awesome toy because he, like I said earlier, he is very poseable. He, uh, or tornado kick. Yeah, or something like that. You know, you can make it up as you go along with it. Anyways, uh... Now for the review, I give this toy a five, uh, a five out of five, because it's very articulate. You can do thousands of poses with this thing. It's really awesome. Uh, although I don't really like the the design for the nose being a crossbow. I mean, they could have made it wider or something. Um. Yeah, this is most of what I can say about it. Yeah, the possibility is, like, really awesome, because you won't find that many Transformers anymore that have such high possibility. I mean, like, some Transformers might have, like, sl like advanced possibility for some limbs, but they would draw back possibility for other limbs, but this is the counterexample. And, of course, he's Japanese, so that gives him a bonus a score, which I... Which I cannot par um, which I cannot uh, add to the score because that would be unimpartial of me, for lack of a better word. Yeah. So basically, if I could add the chrome to the equation, I would give this guy a six and a half out of five. But then I would draw back the design for the weapon, so it would be six out of five. But yeah, it's that good. Um, and of course, like I said with my early review, he's $40 in a comic store if you can find it. But in such a situation, if you have found this in a comic store, and you just happen to have $40 plus tax on you, then definitely get this. Because this guy is really awesome. Anyways, again, I'll show you the card one more time. Pretty badass pose. Uh, this is 000XYZ, and this has been my review of Japanese Transformers Henke Mirage. Have a nice day.